Hi guys, Serica here, and I thought I'd do a day 13 update. The last time I posted a video was day 11, and I had been through most of the detox symptoms, at least the physical ones. What comes after the physical symptoms is emotional symptoms or emotional detoxification, and no one ever really talks about that when they're talking about detox. But for me, what happened was I had this dream about an argument I had. This was six months ago, uh, or longer. And at the time, I really just kind of went, whatever. Well, apparently I needed to deal with that issue because it resurfaced in a dream. And in the dream, I was a lot angrier than I recall being in real life. And then when I woke up, it was like it happened during the dream like it had happened last night all over again and as I was mad I was as mad as I was in the dream not when it happened in real life it was it was it was bizarre but I basically had to redeal with that issue so I think if you neglected anything or just swept it under the rug and thought you were going to forget about it and you start doing a raw detox guess what? Underneath the rugs are clean too. So I had to deal with that clutter. <laughs> and hopefully no other ones will come up. But I think I think I just didn't deal with it at the time. And I kind of suppressed it. Kind of tried to ignore it. Convince myself that I had ignored it and I didn't care. And I actually did care is what I think happened. Let's see. What I have been eating is not very much, and I don't think that's that big of a deal because A, I don't feel weak, and B, I don't feel tired. But I am eating just very little. The morning consists of a green juice, and this container is usually filled to the 24 ounce line, about there. And I drink half of that and put the other half in the refrigerator. If you're going to store your juice in the refrigerator, it is best to store it in a container uh, that's the same size as the volume of juice. So since I had 12 ounces of this left, the best thing to do would have been to put it in a 12 ounce container so that I displaced all of the air and then put the lid on it and put that in the refrigerator in a paper bag so that it's airtight. Um, there's minimum amount of oxygen in the container and it's protected from the light. But I didn't. I just stored it in here just like you see. That's every morning for breakfast. It is either followed by a chia seed porridge or some kind of mixture. Sometimes it's a chia seed pudding but some kind of chia seed uh, concoction. And then fruit or maybe I put fruit in the chia seeds. For lunch yesterday and today I cooked. I have not cooked for myself since I have been doing my back to raw but I cooked a baked potato to have with a kind of vegetable medley and today's medley was tomatoes heirloom tomatoes with a little drizzle of olive oil and some salt and pepper and yesterday I had the marinara sauce left over from my pizza from the raw food pizza that I still haven't posted the link I mean, posted the video for, but I will. Yesterday for dinner, I had oatmeal cookies, and I made a uncooked oatmeal cookie. That's not really a raw food, so it wasn't really raw, but it was as clean as you could make a cookie. Uh, I added a little bit of acai, so they were kind of purple tinted, and I made two batches. One of them I cooked in the oven, like regular oatmeal cookies, and the other batch I put in the refrigerator. And me and my husband ate those for dinner. I ate some raw ones and some cooked ones. And the raw ones were by far the best. They really were. Tomorrow on day 14 when I do my weigh-in and take my measurements again. And I really only took my waist and thigh measurements and my arm. I took my arms, waist, and thighs. So I'll come back and post the deltas for those measurements as well as the delta in my weight. So stay tuned for that. Bye. If you want to learn more about my raw food journey, click on the one year on raw foods photograph. Yep, that's me from January 2008 to January 2009. I actually started my raw food journey before January 2008, but uh, there you go. 
And if you want to see how I make my favorite Rafu dish, which is Rafu pizza, click on the pizza in the upper right. And if you want to see how I make the chia seed porridge recipe that I have almost every day for breakfast, it's awesome for rehydrating your body, particularly your intestinal tract. It's um, mucolaginous and it tastes good. Bonus. So if you want to see how I make that, click on the chia seed porridge recipe photo. And thanks for watching. Bye.